Welcome back everybody, Griddlemore Tour 2022 is complete. I'm back home here in Colorado. I need to get to another tour recipe and show you how to make my famous pasta tortelloni. Today I have my Blackstone 28 inch air fryer combo. You can see it's screaming hot. Olive oil down on the griddle top, followed by the garlic paste that I helped to popularize in Griddle Nation. Followed immediately by some Italian sausage. That's loose Italian sausage, pork sausage, okay? Italian sausage will have varying amounts of garlic, fennel, oregano, thyme, basil, black pepper. I was making this recipe on the 2021 Griddlemore Tour, the famous Blackstone Betty. Shout out to Blackstone Betty. Make sure you're watching her show, Family Style. She came out to visit me. I was calling it Griddle Pasta. I said, hey Betty, I wish I could come up with a better name for this. Griddle Pasta is just so boring without skipping a beat. She said, Tottaloni. It was as if I saw my name in the Vegas lights. So thank you, Betty. All right, and the sausage is just about done. And next we have pasta. Originally, I was using the Barilla Ready Pasta, and then I found these. Oh my goodness, the Rana family size, three color, five cheese tortelloni. They also have a spinach variety that I use probably more often than not, and a cheese variety. Check it out. These things are gorgeous. They are already cooked. Okay, but we're not boiling, we're not in the house, we're not putting these in boiling water. We're using the griddle, we have our griddle today, that's our heat source, using the griddle to warm these all the way through to melt the cheese and to give them that beautiful color. Next, I like to add a bright red tomato. I use these Nature Sweet Glories quite a bit on the road, and we just kind of Dump them down there on the griddle top. A little bit of olive oil, and of course, a few pinches of sea salt. And you know I've gotta throw in some baby spinach. Now it's time to go down with the Mazetta. I always say, don't forget the Mazetta when I'm on the road. And this is where I pour them backwards over my shoulders. Let's do it. Juice and all. Straight down, roasted red bell pepper. I'll go in with some Blackstone loaded Italian sear and serve, or I'll use the Newman's own. I'll use a mixture of the Newman's own family recipe Italian and balsamic glaze. And the last thing on the griddle, I'll go down with some dried oregano. A little bit or a lot of dried oregano. On the road, I use these aluminum hotel pans. This is a recipe that is super simple to make. And it packs a punch. It looks good, it tastes good. Over here to my prep cart, fresh basil. You absolutely have to have fresh basil. When I was in New York last week, I picked this up, some Stella Asiago. Love the Asiago. Let's plate it up here. And then one thing I like to do, I'll do it inside the Blackstone trailer. I'll grab a little bit of balsamic glaze. Take a look at that. Let's give it a try. Three things hit me at once. The balsamic glaze, the roasted red bell pepper, and the spicy sausage, all three together. Those are, wow, just beautiful. I mean, look at this, take a look at this. Folks, there's not a lot more that I can say about this. I've cooked this in probably 30 states. I gotta go inside and feed this to the rest of the family. Friends, if you're not making tortelloni, this is your chance. Easy to make, and we make this all the time. 
So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you're checking out all of my friends, my coworkers' videos, Blackstone Betty with Family Style, Nate with Cook, Eat, Repeat, and CJ with CJ's First Cooking Show. Until next time, this is Todd. Praise the Lord and pass the pasta Todd-aloni. <laughs>